BB Talkin Intercom Connected Hey, what's up, y'all? Sean Murray here, and today I want to help you guys have some low risk, high reward wakeboarding that's actually really fun. I do this with a lot of students, and what it is is understanding what is the power zone. What's the power zone? I'm going to show you real quick. It's right here. Too often I see people take a really hard cut and then they flatten out right here. This is the most important part of a wake to wake jump. It's so important that you can actually jump wake to wake only going this far out. Check this out. So starting wider really is only getting ready for that moment. You can build up more angle and speed and everything, but it's all about that moment. And so I'm gonna show you two fun drills that I take people through. Number one, the short approach challenge. How short can you start? So if you haven't watched the three fundamentals of wakeboarding where I talk about body position, stacking up, leaning against the line and staying connected, stop this video, click this link and go check out that video and then come back. Once you understand that, then you can do this short approach and go wake to wake. You're gonna cut out probably about 30 feet, take a nice easy edge in, and then right here is where you load the power. So it's right here where you need to have your angle and edge. This right here is the important part of a wake jump, the power zone. This right here is the important part of a wake jump. So now I'm gonna bring my, my jump in a little left, about 25 feet. Load, release, up and across. Now a gauge to know how far you're going out. The bubble's coming off the side of the boat. Every boat's gonna be a little bit different. But my boat puts me right about here where I'm out in the calm water. Now that's starting to get pretty close. Ah. You can do some fitness out here, you know, some curls, some tries. Oh, no, that'll make me fall. <laughs> so I'm going to go out to the edge of these bubbles right here, and I'm going to still go wake to wake just outside of them. Now I want you to really notice on this next one, I'm going to do about the same distance, but I want you to watch how I keep my hips up, my shoulders back, and the handle still. So I'm leaning against the line, my hips are engaged, shoulders go against the line, load and release. We're gonna go even shorter on this one. Inside the bubbles, can we do it? All right. Hey, if you don't subscribe, maybe consider doing that. And always appreciate it when you like and share. Hit the notification bell. All right, inside the bubble, switch heel side. I really got to stack up. And what I'm trying to do is build angle and edge. That means angle is this way, edge is heels down. I do that by keeping my hips engaged and low power. Woo! Almost got disconnected a little bit. But here's what I'm doing in a short little burst. This is heel side, left or forward. Go a load. Release, all right? That's something you can practice out in the flat water, load and release. Now you don't need to jump, but the ultimate load to release, this is me overdoing it, this is an air, air roll to reverse, an air flip. Okay, short approach toe side, these scare me. Ah! Woo! Just a little challenge you can do is how short of approach can you make? Because what you do is when you do a long approach, you start out wide, go easy, and then load to release. That's just a fun way to change up how you jump wake to wake, showing you the important part of a wake jump. It's not speed, it's angle and edge. So now another fun drill that I do with my students is how slow can you go and still go wake to wake? Now the parameters we're dealing with right now is 65 feet. I was at 20 miles an hour, we're dropping it to 19. And then we're gonna start dropping it probably about 0.2 or 0.5 miles an hour. So you can start wide, you can start short. This is about an average cut, 19 miles an hour.
Don Wei Twig. So it's a nice, long, fun jump. So you can really increase your distance. I'm guessing that's a little bit more than 27 feet. What am I talking about? You can go check out the, the video that Rusty and I did on how far is Lake Twig. We're going down to 18.5. Now this is my 2021 Super Air Nautique G23 Paragon. It's a heavy boat. We're gonna go for it. I think I got it. No problem. Standing tall, loading power. Long hang time. Still feels like about 27 feet. Gonna get a nice long approach. This shouldn't be too bad. 18.5, woohoo! Here we go, 18.2, he is bouncing. Now 18 flat. Now if you have a smaller boat, like a 21 foot boat or a lighter boat, this boat weighs over 7,000 pounds, empty. We have no ballast in here right now. If you have a lighter boat, you can generally go slower. You gotta find that right rope and uh, speed combination for you. This is pretty whitewashy where I am. Let's try it. Oh yeah. <laughs> I figured why not? Are we gonna go down to 17.8? We might as well. If you watched the F23 video that myself and Dave Moss Jr. did, we did this and we were able to get that boat really slow and still be pretty clean. So we're at 17.8 miles an hour. Can we still take it wake to wake, 65 feet? Oh, it's still clean enough. Woohoo! This seems really crazy slow. Wow, chugging along. All right. Wow, let's just keep going. Now you guys are gonna get a good view. You're gonna see that the wake is kind of whitewashy, but if you hold good body position, you can actually push through it. But here's the important thing I want you to know is too often I see people wanting more hang time. So they add weight, maybe let the rope out, but you honestly can just slow down. That gives you more time in the air. So right now, once again, I'm at 65 feet. I've gotten down to I think 17.4 and I get a ton of like hang time up in the air. I'm gonna get nice and wide. This is gonna be a splashy takeoff. <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, do we keep going to failure? <laughs> I really don't like that theory. I guess now we're on 17.2. I mean, this is dirty. Let's go. Ah. Ah. <laughs> ah, that's funny. We are chugging right now. I feel, feel like I'm about to start wake surfing. Ah. I might get pitched out the front on one of these. Tim, I know you're hoping for it. The reason I'm whipping myself out really wide is so that I can build up a lot of angle and edge, which equals distance. You made it! We're down into the 16. Oh man, let's go slower. Man, getting out is the hardest part of this. I don't know what speed we're at. No! I made it! All right. There's like not much left to jump. Well, there you have it. That's some fun stuff of how to just take your normal riding, change up a little bit and not make it scarier. Just add a different element of challenge. So you can go for your short approach. You can go for the, how slow can you go wake to wake? So I want to say thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any questions or comments, you guys can put those below. Always appreciate it when you like and share. And if you don't subscribe, maybe consider doing that. Hit the notification bell, and no matter what you're doing, always enjoy your ride. Peace!